Hey everybody, Will Hamilton here. We're back with Jan Ozu. Jan, thanks for coming back and working with us. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. And what we're going to do in this video, this quick video, Jan's going to show us how we can practice some of the footwork we worked on in the previous video, the modern tennis footwork video. I was actually delighted by the amount of uh, you know um, hits that we got yeah, from that, that last video. Yeah, uh, Pretty it, popular. It was great, and uh, I'm thrilled to see that there is actually you know, people out there are paying attention and trying to learn how to move well, which is why we're here. And we're going to give them again, um, you know, a few drills here for them to really learn mm -hmm. how to practice this and for them to sort of understand and have it all make sense for them. All right, well, let's do okay. it. Again, I'd like to uh, specify the fact that this is an exercise that if you're not so comfortable on the full court, you should probably do it on half court. Like, we're, like we're lined up right now. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, so I'm going to have you just Play with me, and we're going to start by doing just static stances. And if okay. you notice, okay, it's pretty calm and collected. All right, I'm in neutral. I hit, okay. Close stance, I hit. All right, same thing here. Neutral, I hit. But if you start to really get moving, what's going to happen is you're going to start to see a little bit more movement. Okay. So we're going to add we're going everything to add we talked about before. Walking steps. Okay, and hopping step. So this is the walking step. If you notice, I'm moving inside the plane, then moving back out. So, so I'm, for using, people that I'm using watching, the service line as sort of my barometer to figure out if I'm moving forward or not. Absolutely. It's a great visual because it's right there by your feet. So you can always pay attention to it and know that you are moving in. Okay. What's going to happen as you do this? your body is going to start to adjust to all the different directions that the ball is taking. Okay, so right now I'm watching you and I can tell that you've already done some walking steps and some inside steps as well, okay? So it's a beautiful thing. Now we're going to transition into the hopping step, okay? okay? So the hopping step is the same. It's a close stance and then I'm just moving in. And then for the people that are practicing this, what they'll notice is they will be out of breath fairly quickly, okay? Because now they're doing the revolution tennis, all right? Which is more dynamic, all right? So I'm gonna have you alternate between walking and hopping. Okay. That's a walking, okay? That's a hopping, all right? So walking step, okay, hopping step. All right, okay, walking step and hopping step. So every time I'm going back behind the service every line. Every time, correct. And then the, I'm moving. The reason why it's important to do that is to learn the back and forth, okay? So that you move in and then you move back to create space. Just like that. What I love about watching you do this, Will, is as you're doing it, I can see the start of steps already. So I have other footwork in there. You're starting to throw them all in there, okay? And you're starting to do some hybrids as well, okay? Which shows to me that it's starting to sink in, all right? Okay, I'm gonna have you start to feed the ball to my back end. Okay. So that I can do some inside steps, okay? Inside, there you go, okay? That's a neutral, okay? Just try to put it a little bit deeper, there yep. you go. Inside step. There is the inside. There you go. There is the inside. Okay. All right. Inside. That's it. And you're doing it too. Very good. And here's karaoke. All right. Let's do karaoke. Okay. There. That's it. Okay. There. That's it. The good thing about working inside the box is there is absolutely no shot that's not worth your effort. Okay, every step that you decide to use in this particular drill is excellent. Okay, now you're going to alternate forehand, backhand. Okay. Okay, so that we can review everything that we've worked on. See there, I did an inside, a walking step for the backhand side. Okay, that's it. And always try to break the plane when you do a dynamic step. Oh, my fault. Okay, that's all right. I love when people miss hit because it gives me a chance to adjust, which is exactly what's going to happen in a match. You're going to have to constantly adjust to what your opponent does. 
things are not predictable. There you go. So you have to have all this stuff in your arsenal so that you can break it out at any time based on the situation. You got it. And as I always say, if you can do it in the small box, you can do it in the little box. Okay? In the big box, sorry. All right? Come on, move in. There. Okay, very good. Are you feeling your feet already? Of course. Okay, it's starting to get uh, a little burn in your lungs? Uh, no comment. <laughs> very good, because I am. Okay? All right. Very good. All right. That was excellent. You've pretty much gone through a variety of steps right there that you don't even think about. And we want you to be in that situation where you don't think about it. It just sort of happens. Okay. okay? This is a perfect drill to work on this. So great job. Well, guys, I'm winded, so I'm going to get a drink. Thanks for tuning into this video. And you guys should really do this instead of just stepping on the tennis court and doing short court with no real meaning behind it. Do it this way. You'll love it and you'll improve very, very quickly.